The next thing that we're going to talk about as far as the Korg Nautilus sequencer is concerned is renaming your sequence. Um, I think this is kind of funny, but it's very important. Uh, when I first got started with my Korg Triton, and my friends and I were in college, and we used to make songs and beats and different things on the keyboard, none of us ever saved names with the songs. So we had all these sequences that we had to remember which folder they were in. The folders were named... Um, new sequence or whatever the default name was and all of the songs were called new song and then they had a number so we had to remember the numbers until um, we got disciplined enough to start naming our songs at the beginning of the tracks um, so I want to show you guys how to do that So again, all you're going to do is you're going to hit this drop down box and you're going to go to rename song. Once you're in this menu, you're going to click the new song um, option here and it's going to bring you to this keyboard layout. You can hit this back button until you get all the characters clear and then you can just name your song. I'm going to name this song YouTube Tutorials. YouTube. tutorials press ok it's going to give you the confirmation screen to rename the song and so you just hit ok and it should change the name of your song so that's how you rename songs in the Korg Nautilus always be sure to do that and it'll help you keep your file system really nice and tidy and always easy to identify your songs